everyone, welcome back to Crash Course Typography. Today we are going to talk about magazine spread anatomy and how to create hierarchy when you're working with type. And that's essentially how do you create your priorities, what type you see first, and how you communicate your message. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about on my document is all of these crazy lines going across my page and this is what I call, what designers call a grid. You can create your grid when you're setting up your document in the layout window. Go to margins and columns and that will help you set up your purple lines going vertically across the page. And to create guides, uh, you go into that panel to create the bluish green lines going across horizontally on the page. All right, so that's how you would set those up. And then that can kind of give you an idea of where is a good place to place. Um, it's just kind of like a good backbone when you're designing and creating hierarchy. You'll see more as we go through. So what we can see on this page, if I make this a little bit bigger here, we have the title of my magazine, my fake magazine Wonderlist, the date or the issue date, and then some articles on the bottom left. And the way I've created some hierarchy, some examples I've created is obviously the headline is the largest. And that's important because that's the most important to whoever's picking up this magazine. You might say that the picture is the second most important. And then I tried to make Hidden Adventure, the article, the third most important element on this page by putting this really subtle but eye-catching box around it. And so my one, two, three, as I like to call it, is the title, the picture, and the article. And you always want to know what your one, two, threes are because if you have too many things fighting for attention, it's likely that the reader of the document is not going to know where to look first. And so you kind of want to help them out by creating a hierarchy. Let's look at the next page. This is the contents page. You could argue that either contents or this illustration on the right is the one. I would probably say the picture because people tend to People tend to process pictures better than they tend to process type, but they're both pretty big and um, the contents is a little bit darker, so it holds a stronger presence on the page. And then you can see that I tried to break down more hierarchy as I go through the articles with arriving in Sydney, the first article being in 100% black, but then I dropped down the subtitle, I'm down under mate, in like a 40% gray. So that's how I used hierarchy in this example and then down at the bottom corner you can see what in magazine anatomy would be called a folio and it's really small it's just kind of like a reference for the reader. Okay moving on this is the first spread because when you're talking about a magazine you would tend to say spreads over pages because that's the proper terminology and in this spread we have the headline the body copy which if you're trying to read good luck because it's in gibberish or what designers call lorem ipsum which is again gibberish you have artwork elements here and here the caption for the picture a subhead, some more body copy, a pull quote, and then the folio again. And if you can't remember any of this, I am going to create a PDF to go along with this document. And when you get the PDF, I'll have this turned on so you can see what each thing is so that you can remember. And if you end up creating your own magazine spread or another kind of document, for like an ebook for one of your clients, then you can use this and make sure you have all the elements. All right, so let's go to my last page. And that's kind of like this opening 
spread for the next article. So again, we have the headline, really big this time. We have the deck, which is essentially like the opening line to a story that's maybe a summary. The byline, which is the author. The lead, which is kind of like the body text, but it's just giving you a short hook so that you continue to read the article on the next page. Some more artwork and then another caption. So down here where you see my caption, you see that I really spaced out the kerning on the caption and that's just another way that you can kind of create a hierarchy. Um, maybe it catches your attention. You can determine whether or not I succeeded on that one or not. All right. So that's essentially magazine spread anatomy in a nutshell and hierarchy. And if you need this PDF, then go ahead and find it in the transcript with the rest of this lesson. See you next time.